Yeah. Yes, I am. Yes, sir. Please uh, come on video and yes. start the session. Yeah. Huh. Well, Thank you, sir. Let me congratulate at the outset the Global Media Education Council and their associates for the opportunity they have presented, created for all of us at this webinar to deliver it on transmedia storytelling, an emerging journalistic technique that appeals to the readers all over the world, especially in the West. Well, Global Leaders in Media Development, Thomson Foundation, it describes successful news writing in our time as the art of storytelling. It describes journalism as storytelling with a purpose. Many journalists believe that the approach makes news meaningful to the consumers. And some again consider storytelling as the most fundamental skill of all that journalism involves, its roots going back to the antiquity, to ancient India, Europe, and Arabia. In fact, in the Orient, the goals of the Buddhist tales of Jataka, the popular Katha Shri Shagra, or Dundin's Dashakumar Charit, or the Arabian tales, and even our folk media have identical goals. How to communicate, how to persuade, how to motivate, and how to grab people's attention. The distinguished scholar, William James Potter, he once told us that news is not something that happens. Instead, news is what gets presented. We almost never see news events as they happen. Instead, we are shown the media's manufactured construction of the events. And people, we all know, love to read about people. And from this point of view, journalism can be defined more simply as storytelling or news information of any form. And how a story is told is more important today to the audience than what it is about. The best story is a well-told tale about something the reader feels is relevant or significant. A good story is built not just on facts. Good stories reflect good choices, selection rather than compression. Now, I would plead, before I conclude, I would plead fervently for the Indianization of the the content and carry out more authentic field-based research to give an Indian voice to the art of storytelling instead of blindly imitating the West. And still better, if our distinguished panelists, they refer to the actual examples of storytelling as it is being practiced by Indian newspapers or the Indian media, say in English. And our mother tongues like Odia, Tamil, Gujarati, Hindi, Malayalam, Bangla, and other languages. That be doing a, an human service to the teachers and students of the subject alike and would be a means for a new kind of enlightenment. Well, I would not like to stand any further between the knowledgeable audience and our distinguished speakers. And with these words, I think the seminar proper can begin with our speaker leading the charge.